What's up, sports fans? <laughs> hey guys, it's Katie and Cody here. We are gonna give y'all an updated travel trailer tour because we've done a lot of changes since the last ones and it's gonna be like a full blown tour, show you how everything works. Starting with the outside of the camper, looks pretty much the same other than the fact that we got a nice new awning. It's actually connected to the camper, so. It's, it's an awning and it's new, it works. We wouldn't, I guess, I necessarily know. call Don't it nice. It's <laughs> Yeah, we bought a pretty cheap one. All kind of made out of the same thing, so. And we figure we won't probably use it like a whole lot, so it'll get the job done. And it works. It's a nice little spot to hang out in the weather. Yeah. There's sides for it if we wanted to put them on. Nice for bike races and stuff like that, for sure. We used our easy ups a lot for the bike races. It's a little more pro. A little more glamper. Sure. <laughs> So we have our good old, you know, plastic table and camp stove as per always. Camp stove is holding strong. We got these really nice comfy chairs over the winter that we could, over the winter, over the summer, that I figured we could use over the winter when it's colder inside. We also lowered our table inside for, specifically for these chairs, which we will show you. Going around front, we have our 20-ish gallon water tank, our diesel tank for our diesel heater. Both of those are routed underneath the camper. On this side, we have our outdoor shower. Works similarly to the awning, just kind of folds out and then folds back away. And the tarp things just fold right in there. And moving around to the back. Welcome in to the kitchen. Welcome. If the fridge looks different, that's because it is. It's the same size, but apparently uses less power and it doesn't have a separate freezer, which was one of the reasons why we didn't want to get one of these one door style ones, but we don't really use the freezer anyway. So there it is. Otherwise the kitchen looks pretty much the same. We hung the pans on the wall. Hung the pans on the wall, which is super nice actually, because I used to store them on the floor and I got tired of lifting them every single day. So now we have to lift them off of there. It's easier. She says it's easier. Hi. <laughs> we still have a broken mirror, but it works. I don't look at it. Can't you tell? <laughs> and now the table, it's lower. We lowered it. I think, yeah, we had to make it narrower to make it lower, too. Still kind of the same operation as before. It has like a little hook, and then obviously the one part goes down, the other part comes up, and then they fit right together. We were having charging trouble, battery storage trouble last year, like, is what we gathered. So we, I got another battery and it's bigger than the other two. So now we have 475 amp hours of storage. So you know, it seems to be working so far. We're one solar panel less because it broke and then we tried to replace it. And then for some reason that was messing up the whole system. So now we're at four panels, but more battery. And it seems to be working fine. So we'll go with that. We also tried to put in this DC to DC charger so that we could plug the truck in to the trailer and charge the batteries. But that's not working either <laughs> for some reason. Electrical's not my thing. Guess it's, not. It's a little bum because it was kind of expensive to do all that, but there's only so many things that it could be wrong. So I'm sure we'll fix it eventually. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. So this is how we operate our bed. Every time we move, we put it up and down. Or if we want to sit in here during the day. Which is rare, but we do once in a while. So we put pillows and random things up there that we have to take down. And then there's hooks on each side of our bed frame that we just unhook. I'll show you them once the bed is down. 
and then I'll let Cody do the hard part. It's more hard getting it up than down, but it's not bad. So down comes the frame and then down comes the bed. Blankets get a little goofed, but that's okay. We have found that we can hang pictures and whatnot behind the bed and then they won't break when we're moving because we, or fall when we're moving because we put the bed up. So that's kind of nice too. We can decorate a little bit more in here. You know, I like decorating. <laughs> so here are, here's one of the hooks for the bed. It's just a big old- Just a hook. Hook, yeah. And then- Hook and ring. There's the, there's the eyelet. And there's my eyes. <laughs> mean last things last we have our shelves which look pretty much the same messy as usual lots of containers but hey they really do the job and that's that's all of our stuff so cody's clothes are along the top my clothes are right there and there and then laundry um, right there we have like just toolbox type things, first aid, some toiletries, our recycling is there right now, which it normally isn't, um, junk, hats, gloves, and then our bookshelf, which has books and our bathroom. I think that's it. What do you think, Cody? I think that's it. I think that's it. That's our home. All right, thanks for coming ten, into our house. 10 months, that's our <laughs> home. 11. Heck yeah, it's been working really well so far. We like it. And if you think it's too cramped in here, get the heck outside. <laughs>